Hey there and welcome back. Settle down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's do this. These are the frequently asked questions about my laser hair removal for my face. Okay, what kind of laser is being used? Uh, the spa that I go to uses the Luminous Light Sheer Laser, and that's best for people with dark hair and fair skin. You should check with your esthetician to see what kind of laser they use and what they recommend for you. Does it hurt? Well, I guess that's a matter of opinion and uh, pain tolerance level in each individual. For me, no, it doesn't hurt that badly. I will say that my first two sessions did hurt the most, um, and it was kind of a combination of a very electric, almost electric static, um, very fast electric burny kind of feeling, like a really hot, fast sunburn, and also uh, like rubber bands snapping against my skin. Um, afterwards, I got some itchiness and some red patches and some swelling, but I wouldn't say that it hurt. Uh, the pain is very fleeting when it happens. You kind of wince once in a while when it's actually happening and they're uh, putting the laser over some of the thicker patches of hair, but overall it's not painful. If you've gotten a paper cut, you've gotten a bee sting, stubbed your toe, or donated blood, um, you can definitely tolerate this, especially if you're used to waxing um, previously or tweezing. If you can tolerate all of that, you can definitely tolerate laser hair removal. So what should I expect? All right, well, you walk in the door to your spa, you get greeted by your esthetician, and you get waltzed back to a room that has a big sign on the door that warns you that a laser is in session. So you sit down on a beautiful doctor table that has the paper gasket on it. You lay down, you put on the special sunglasses, and uh, a very thin layer of this um, clear goop goes on your face in the areas that they're going to laser. And then the laser gets applied to your face and zaps as it moves around the hair areas that are being uh, lasered. And you do smell the weird burning hair. And anybody who understands that we are carbon-based creatures understands the fact that uh, burnt flesh, burnt hair... Uh, stinks. If you've ever gotten your hair caught in a blow dryer or singed it on a curling iron or flat iron, you know the smell I'm talking about. You do smell that. Um, you know, you get used to it. It goes away. It's no big deal. Whatever. Um, but then the esthetician wipes your face off in just a couple of minutes. It doesn't take very long at all, at least for me. Less than five minutes. Uh, wipes off all that goop. A lot of the hair comes off with it. Sends you out the door with an ice pack and you're ready to go to make your new appointment the next time. Yay! How much does it cost and how many sessions do I need? Those are two of the most common questions that I get asked almost on a daily basis. And I will tell you, as far as cost is concerned, my spa did do a Groupon. Um, I could not have afforded this procedure had I not gotten the group on because I'm just not willing to spend that kind of money. Maybe you are. Um, but patches of hair like I did from ear to ear underneath my chin, my mustache area, and uh, my lady sideburns, my Italian lady beard, basically from my tip of my nose down to my neck and from ear to ear. That's the section that I got done. And that probably would have cost me over $2,000 to get done had I paid regular price. But I got a group on, so keep your eyes peeled. Now, that doesn't say uh, that would be what you would end up spending, and maybe it's worth it to you to, to spend that kind of money. But for me, I really wanted to go a more frugal route. So uh, with that said, I bought 12 sessions uh, because the area of my hair, uh, 12 small sessions, let's say, uh, now the size of the session, the size of the area is going to vary from spa to spa. So go do your homework, talk to a spa near you, go make sure that you like the esthetician, that they answer all of your questions, and that they give you a quote. Uh, they shouldn't, they shouldn't uh, give you any kind of obligation. You should just be able to go, have them examine your situation, have them suggest what's best for you, and then take it from there. I can't quote price. I'm so sorry. I wish that I could, um, but just figure that... Laser hair removal is not cheap, and uh, depending on the kind of results that you're looking for and the amount of money that you want to spend, you may want to really do your homework. I'm so glad you're watching this video because it should help. This and other YouTube videos will definitely help you make your decision. Of course, your results will vary. Um, I would tell you that because this is more of a permanent 
reduction in hair and I wouldn't say it's a permanent hair removal solution uh, because for me honestly I believe that I'm going to be continually growing hair the rest of my life and I'll probably need touch-ups and I'll probably tweeze and I'll probably wax anyway but for me the results that I've had where uh, the hair um, you know is growing less and less and those big patches that I hated so much are gone to me, that's totally worth it. So um, how many sessions you need and the cost, really don't know. They usually sell them in packets, though, of packets of 6 or 12. Um, so check that out. Another question that I get asked all the time is, do you really shave your face? And the answer is yes. I really do shave my face like a man, shaving cream and all. I use a chic uh, quattro, um, or a Mach, Mach 4, or Mach 3, um, I don't know, I went out and bought a couple of men's razors, because they have a really good pivot swivel head, and I'm pretty deft at using, um, a razor around my legs, I'm looking down at my legs, um, but yeah, I can use a razor, and they've got a great pivot head, so they do, um, help with the curvature of the face, I do use a quality shaving cream, um, and I do use aftershave just in case I get any razor burn because, um, you know, skin is sensitive and just want to make sure that you don't get any burn or anything. But yes, have to shave. Uh, you have to stop plucking. It is one of the hardest things to do is to not tweeze. We're so conditioned to tweeze and pluck and pull and snag and wax off the hair, but the hair has to be in the follicle in order for the laser to work. So the answer is yes, I shave. It is weird. It is weird. It is weird. Yes. But there is a myth that the hair will grow back thicker. Now, shaving does cut the hair at a blunt angle, meaning it's a flat top of the hair instead of a fine wispy point because when we tweeze the hair out from the root then the hair has to regenerate from scratch again which causes that fine point when you shave you're shaving it off kind of midway which causes the hair to kind of be flat at the top now I don't get double like a men's five o'clock shadow although I know there are women who do get that um, but the hair has to be there I'm sorry ladies that you have to shave it is the weirdest thing it is the weirdest thing when you see yourself shaving. It is the strangest thing, but hopefully it'll just entertain you and uh, you'll get over it. It's fine. Now that uh, I'm headed into my sixth laser hair appointment, uh, after the sixth one, I'll probably go back to waxing any stray hairs uh, or tweezing any stray hairs, but the shaving has been very interesting and I really do shave. Another frequently asked question is, how far apart are appointments spaced? And any typical spa will tell you between four and six weeks uh, between appointments, and you will need multiple appointments. You're not gonna get all the hair in one fell swoop because hair has different growing cycles. So in order to get all of the hair throughout its entire growing cycle, you will have to get the hair lasered and then wait several weeks uh, to see if that existing hair grows back or if new hair grows in. So uh, you have to space them out. You need several, several sessions. Um, you know, that's why they sell them in packs of 6 and 12, uh, because you do need multiple sessions. You won't get it all in one one time, but count on between 4 and 6 weeks per session. So if you want to be hair-free by summertime, then you should have been starting already. Um, you know, I did mine through summer, which was difficult because I needed to stay pale and because you need to have pale skin um, and dark hair. And it's so hard to stay pale in Florida in the summertime. So I should have been doing it more in the winter time, but it worked out. And this coming summer, I am going to be tan. That's it for now. Thank you so much for your attention span. Thank you so much for all of your comments, your questions, your emails, your tweets everything. I have just been so overwhelmed by the wonderful outpouring of thanks and congratulations I've gotten from you guys. And I know that some of you are still very concerned with this whole process and you're frustrated yourself with the hair. Um, just keep doing your homework. Keep in touch with me. Let me know how you're doing. And if you have any additional questions, um, you know, the conversation doesn't end here. I'm still here. 
I'm still uh, in this fight with you and looking forward to keeping the conversation going. So thanks again for everything. You guys have been great and you've been so inspiring to keep, uh, to keep me going on doing these videos. So thanks a lot. Have a beautiful day and happy holidays. Talk to you soon. Bye.